it's the energy vibration reading for the hurt sign this is the full moon reading for the hurt sign people okay so if you are a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is the energy vibration reading for the full moon of the month of October I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energies that were coming in um, this energies are going to be aligning each and every person um, after the full moon because the energy of the full moon brings in always changes okay I want to say thank you to each and every person thank you for the wonderful support likes and shares thank you for the wonderful um, positive energies that have been receiving please remember that these full moon reading is um, basically very long and for the whole extended readings you can go and reach out um, with us and on demand okay because there is where you can align with the rest of the reading on on demands so um, welcome back um, to this wonderful series um, really a lot of people are or enjoying this series so thank you for all the um, message that was um, sent um, please remember like share these videos cross watch cross watch for your partners um, the full moon reading is very important because there's so many other information that is going to be helping you with the monthly readings and um, the weekly readings there is just information that is just going to be um, alarming you and um, um, getting you on the right track okay so first of all we're going to be um, looking always at the energy of um, we look first at the energy of uh, um, the um, sun sign and it's it's just not a reason but first is there Sun and then we look at the moon um, sign okay so um, it's not a reason why I choose the Sun but it's just so much easier um, to do the Sun and then the moon and then we align ourselves with the, with the rest of the energy okay so let's see what's coming out for you earth sign people what's coming out for the earth sign people oh my god okay um, I'm not alarmed by Saturn coming up for you earth sign people I'm really really not alarmed by that because <clears throat> Saturn is the planet of removing that which no longer serve you and what is transpiring and please um, remember and try and watch the on demand because I can't give all the information um, just in this first reading you guys have to really really connect with the on demand because there is where you're going to be receiving more energies from the on demand okay so so remember sun sign people if you were born at 12 what is going on if you were born at 12 o'clock midnight um uh, if you were born at 12 o'clock midnight between the hours of 12 midnight and um, uh, and and uh, 6 p.m. you are a sun sign if you were born after 6 p.m. in the evening um, you are a moon sign that's when the moon is raised in the sky and this is why I always uh, advise people to go and um, um, see what is your sun sign and what is your moon sign okay it is very 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 important now as I look at the energy for the sun sign people we're going to be starting with a sun sign people um, um, we have Capricorns so you Capricorns embrace yourself um, embrace yourself you Capricorns um, some of you Capricorns are going to be connecting with a scorpion and now the energy of the scorpion because the scorpion so I'm seeing the Capricorns and the Virgo this is this quarter this 
month full moon is going to affect in the Capricorns and the Tauruses and my excuses not the Virgos but the Tauruses whatever the situation that is happening you guys are here the Capricorn and the scorpion so some of you if you um, are in a relationship with a Taurus and you have a child that is a scorpion be aware because there is going to be some situation that is going to be coming up okay the scorpion is um, working with a Sagittarius okay whatever the situation is a scorpion is working with a Sagittarius now the whatever it is that is transpire um, some of you Capricorns are connecting with the Scorpius or the Taurus in relationship forms or karmatic situation but they're here and this is so um, very wonderful because what is transpiring is that they have come up in your reading so it's positive um, if you are Capricorn and you were born you're under the Sun it's going to be um, a very positive so if you're a Capricorn and you were born on the Sun um, this full moon is going to release to you your destination um, is steady and empowering okay so some of you um, Capricorns is going to be right realizing that you're on the right track in whatever you're doing and this is going to be very 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 empowering for you now for you Tauruses, it is a fertile time. So whether in business or you women, um, this is a very fertile time after um, this um, this full moon in uh, this month of October. It's very fertile. So you could be getting a pregnant. Growth requires warmth and light. And that is what you Tauruses are going to be receiving. Um, Virgo is in retrograde, so don't forget that. Some of you Tauruses are going to be connecting with the Pisces, and this is a good relationship. If it's in a relationship form, um, you're going to be connecting with the Pisces. Um, so um, look out for that. But what I want to say to you guys is that it's going to be positive because. The, 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 the Capricorns are going to be supporting the Tauruses and the Tauruses are going to be supporting the Capricorns and this is going to be good for you Virgos it's going to be very very soft it's going to be a very soft aligning um, energy that is coming in for you Virgos okay it's going to be um, a time of a peace a time of rest um, you're going to be connecting on such a, a very very positive and I uh, personally feel that as as um, the Sun sign is working with the zodiac energies then you know who are the people that is going to be affecting you and when you're working with the planets it can be just like a whole lot of things it can be situations it can be people it can be a lot of stuff coming at you but now you're aligned and you're understanding who is going to be affecting you and this is going to be very very positive I'm seeing a lot of you Capricorns um, are connected with the scorpion in whatever way it could be karmatic situation with your kids karmatic situation with your partner but you're connecting um, with the Scorpio um, with this full moon then we have the energies of the Tauruses that is connecting with the Pisces so it's going to be good now as we go and look at the um, moon people which is the people who were born um, after 6 p.m. Um, between 6 p.m. and um, 12 a.m. you have and you're going to be dealing with the Aquarians now the Aquarians are very psychic people very psychic people and you can see here the Sagittarius and the Leo's so this is good because you moon people are going to be connecting with the Sagittarius and the Leo's and the Aquarians but the thing about it is that especially for you Capricorns you've more vibrated with if you're a Capricorn that is born um, the beginning degree of the Capricorn sign which is uh, close to the Sagittarius the people who were born in December you're going to be having you can have great relationship and positive energies between you and the Sagittarians because um, you are so close to them so you um, basically um, connects with them and their fire signs so they always help you now 
the Leos are going to be coming in to work with you guys okay so um, it could be that you are connecting with these people on the work floor or you're connecting with these people in your work life whatever way that you're connecting with these people it's just going to be very wonderful very brilliant super because the Sagittarians always bring luck now there's a situation here with the Aquarians and the Sagittarians coming in and the Aquarians are ruled by the planet of Uranus so um, this the Aquarians could be bringing you psychic energies or they could be um, re being removed out of your life because um, what is your outcomes is the outcomes of your own planet because remember um, Saturn is in your birth chart um, until the next three years or next two years and then you have it with the Pisces now it could be for some of you who are in a relationship with a Pisces that this person is going to be removed out of your life okay whoever this person is they could have some fire sign or Aquarians energy and they're going to be removed out of your life so let's say that you're with um, a Pisces that is born um, the end of the Aquarians and the beginning of Pisces which is the first degree of the Pisces what is going to be happening is that this person could be very much so moving or re being removed out of your life so we're gonna be seeing what is that energy with um, because um, Saturn is your planet okay it's no question everyone knows <clears throat> that Saturn is in you Capricorn's um, planet at this moment and it's going to affect both the the, um, the Sun people and the moon people um, Saturn being in your planet okay and whenever Saturn is in your planet it is very very important that you <clears throat> actually vibrate on a positive um, <clears throat> energy because some of you don't let um, steadfastness turn into stubbornness okay so don't let something that you you're steadfast and you hold on to that turn into stubbornness okay refine your intention for self-growth okay it is very important to refine your intention for self-growth some of you need to slow down you have plenty of time so don't rush anything after the full moon just slow down um if something is not going your way okay it's not going your way that mean um, that's not where the universe wants you to go okay so don't push something if it's not happening okay let's say you wanted to do um, something I'm taking a picture so you guys can see it let's say you wanted to do something and you wanted to align with certain energies certain people it's not going your way don't push it because maybe it's not supposed to okay so I want to say um, to each and every person thank you um, for being here you're you're going to be having something be removed of your life um, if it's uh, um, whatever it is you need to let it go because that's what the full moon is all about that it's change it brings change in and this is why you have the full moon every um, month so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you thank you for being here for the extended deal of this reading please use the link the, um, below and go over um, to on demand because this reading is going to be a very long reading um, this reading is going to be we're going to be looking at uh, um, other things that will be coming up other aspect of things um, that will be coming up and um, we're going to be looking at love and money um, also to see what is coming out with love and money and um, there is going to be more um, information so I want to say to each and every person um, namaste until next time okay welcome 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 to the full moon reading on the extended full moon reading so we're going to be looking at the general um, reading okay um I wanted um, to show you guys the alignments of the energies that are coming in but you will see it um, as uh, um, you will see it soon 
Okay, so we're calling up in the angels for the earth sign people. So remember, if you are Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, this is your reading. This is a full moon reading for the month of October 2018. So let's see what is coming out. We have the energy of money that is here. And um, then we have balance that is coming out also. I don't know I'm doing you guys reverse then we have debt and transformation we have a secret that is coming out we have some theft that as is going to be taken place we have the Fox and cunningness so expect that we have a message this message is going to be bringing information to you a message is coming from overseas and then we have a the flowers a surprise that is coming up I don't know what is happening but um, the air sign also have this energy of help of help coming in so um, powerful people people in powerful position is going to be coming in and this is going to be good okay so people in powerful um, positions is going to be coming in and it's going to be helping out some of you it could be um, parents um, or that sort of a thing that is coming in I just